Welcome back to The Couch here on Aurora Television. Someone I love having on the show are the Cannington Agricultural Horticultural Recreational Society Incorporated. I bet she thought I'd get it wrong. But Diane is back and she's talking to our very own Nisha, but you can refer to them as cars because I know you will. Over to you, Nisha. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Fred. And I do have the very easy job of saying I'm joined by the lovely Diane, Executive Officer from CARS, and also a very long-standing committee member, Maxine, 22 years, helping out with the canning show. So I'm going to start off by asking the question, 22 year years, years, I just turned a different accent then, 22 years is such a long commitment. It doesn't really feel like a commitment. It, was, it started off as I'm a country girl at heart. I was a little girl always going to the country agricultural shows, mm -hmm. showing my parents work that I'd done at school. When I got married and had children myself and we went to the local canning show, um, there was no schoolwork in there. So I volunteered to put up my school's uh, work and just hung around a little bit too often and managed to get on a committee. <laughs> Isn't that and beautiful? And been there since. Yeah. When you say it's not a commitment, so it's really a passion and um, you were very integral in commencing the, the interaction within the community into the show as well. Yes, it's not really, it's a commitment at the time of the show where you've got mm. to put a bit of extra time into it, but it's, the passion is that um, you are part of the community. Wonderful. And of course, the canning show is coming up in early November, but today we're talking about getting prepared, aren't we, Diane? So right. it's time. So talk us through. Uh, we've got such an exciting lineup of interactive events. Um, yeah. Talk us through the first most exciting one for you. Well, look, what, it, what we're here today is just remind everybody it's time to get ready for the show because mm -hmm. so many people come to the show and say, gee, that's fabulous, I wish I'd entered. But in actual fact, if you're going to prepare some of these uh, things, yes. you really need three months to, to get yourself ready. Might, in some cases, even longer. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's what we want to do. So we've got 13 sections on offer this year, which is pretty much the same um, mm -hmm. categories that we've offered last year. Mm -hmm. And we are obviously encouraging our regular members to come back and mm -hmm. attend again but we're also saying invite the kids and also if you used to be part of the show and you want to come mm -hmm. back then have a think about that so the first section that we mm -hmm. run is to do with horses horses in action mm -hmm. and our show actually is a Perth Royal Show qualifier oh. so if you are able to enter and, and win in the canning show then that's mm -hmm. an automatic um, qualifier for the mm -hmm. Perth Royal and that's open for ages 10 to adults Fantastic. And in terms of entering um, that particular aspect, is there a deadline or due date? For the show? Yes. It, so it mean, for the horse section, yes. that just means register your entry a couple of weeks before and then turn up on the day. Okay, but obviously With you won't do horse. a bit of... Yeah. <laughs> Very helpful. Don't forget the horse <laughs> and the safety helmet. Yes. And a bit of training beforehand. That's right. Yeah, lovely. Lots of training. Yeah, okay, sure. Fantastic. One of the really exciting things... Um, is that this year youth can actually get in for free? Is that right? Ah, oh, well, not you all can't. Youth. No, Maxine, you tell me about Damn that. Damn, I don't qualify yeah. anymore, do I? <laughs> <laughs> um, youth who are exhibiting. Ah, okay. um, we've opened it up because we we want the youth to start coming, being more involved mm. because we find that it's the oldies like me that have been around a while, um, we want to get some of that passion mm. back into the youth. So we're offering um, free entry to any, any youth who exhibits. Mm. Fantastic. What an in incentive, absolutely. Now, if we keep going down the list, you've got fruit and veggies. To fruit and veg, open to amateur gardens, yes. uh, gardeners, and there's a variety of classes on, on offer. That's um, an inner held in our Lidlow Pavilion, which is a huge flower and fruit and vegetable hall. Beautiful. And flowers, that flows right into that section. Tell us about flowers. Well, the flowers um, have grown and grown, mm -hmm. literally, um, <laughs> because funny. we used to have them in a, a very small section of a, a little, a bigger hall, mm -hmm. but now they've gone into the, um, a really big hall. So yes, there's floral arts, there's pots of um, particular plants that are growing, there's hanging baskets, creepers, and there is a section where um, it, people can enter a championship um, oh. with their vase of flowers in the decorative way. That's great. Weight. And look, something for everyone in this list, we've also got, um, I've noticed on the list, home and dairy producing. Sure, that's um, what we would traditionally class as a, a, a show craft. Mm. Anything about making your own jams, pickles and preserves. Mm. Um, also, there's an interesting one for the guys, in particular, homebrew. Ooh. 
Ooh. very popular. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I imagine. And very popular with the judging as well. <laughs> and that would go really nice with savoury items in the next section, home cooking. Certainly. A bit of bread and, yeah. and a bit of home brew, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And sewing, knitting, crochet, toys and dolls. Really ideal classes for creative people. That are special classes for the over 70s. We'd yeah. expected some hot contenders there a couple of weeks ago. I was so it does with, get competitive. With, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with the yarn bombers and those ladies who've been yarn bombing are, are already working on their show projects. So um, Imagine yeah, yeah. they're hiding them at home so no one can see their mm -hmm. ideas. It yeah. all gets very yes. secretive <laughs> and competitive. <laughs> competition, I love yeah. it. So hand, handicrafts, the jewellery, folk art, scrapbooking, that's fairly popular as well? Um, very popular, yep. yes, and because there's such a variety, you know, there's something for everyone. If you're not good at one thing, you might be good at something else. So, Beautiful. Um, yes, if you've had lessons or if you haven't had lessons, you can enter whatever it is that you like to do. Great. And home, um, actually, um, hobby ceramics, I was going to say home crafts, but hobby ceramics. That's a, uh, an old topic, an old aspect in the canning show, it isn't is. it? And yeah. that one's a little bit different um, because the, that's one of the classes that we actually have professional um, entrants as well. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. something that is all of the other classes are for amateurs, but that one does have uh, uh, sexual ah, professionals. Okay, so I can imagine this competitiveness in that area. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, you've got painting and drawing. Yeah. Now, again, um, that's painting, drawing, um, and also mi mixed media. Mm -hmm. um, there is a special class this year, paintings that have a rural theme to them are eligible into the Perth Royal Show okay. Agricultural Art Award. So, again, for budding artists who mm -hmm. um, would maybe like to um, expose their work in a, a bigger arena, then it's an, an entry for them, a, a way into the bigger show. Sure, great opportunity. Now, we have yeah. to pump through these fairly quickly, unfortunately, because there's quite a few. So, if we go through saying that photography is an absolutely amazing area at the moment where there's a lot of competitions. Most popular over 400 entries last year. Yeah. Okay wonderful so there if you're a budding photographer industrial arts and performance art installations so for the emerging artist as well. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Look, ladies, there, there are so many areas and I think out there there must be something in that list that you are good at and that you can get involved. What's the key message around time frames and, and making sure you, you get prepared? Probably to be aware of mm. when the show is and mm. when you need to get your advice in that you are going to enter. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And um, yes, and then get on to whatever it is that you need to make. Okay, wonderful. And of course, people can contact CARS directly. And I know Fred's got all of that information as well that he'll be showing a bit later on. But thank you so much for coming on the show. The time always goes so quick. And I'm sure we'll have you on board before the canning show as well. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you.